whether you're running out of kids projects to do during quarantine or if you just want to be more impressive next charcuterie night, I have the project for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make a candle using just these two items. All right, so our first step is going to be to eat the cheese. Unless you're lactose intolerant, in which case uh, I don't want you to use up all of this. Now when you unwrap this thing, go ahead and save this plastic wrapper on the outside because we're going to use that for the next part of our project. When you unwrap this, it's going to come out in basically three pieces. We have this long piece right here and then the two pieces that make it kind of like uh, like a Pac-Man. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece in the middle right here, I'm going to bend it over, I'm going to stick it inside of one of these pieces. Then I'm going to take the other piece, stick it right on top, just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is just press one side down, it's kind of flat, and then I'll press the other side down too, just like that. So I have this kind of flat lip looking thing. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to rip off one little square of toilet paper, and then I'm going to take that and I'm just going to rip it in half, just like this. We're going to use one. The other one you can save for the smallest poop wipe ever. Now the easiest way to do this is we're just going to grab two corners of it and we're just going to spin it in your fingers. The next thing that we want to do is we're going to take that in here, we're going to press it right into the middle and then we're going to wrap it around the exterior just like that. On the top of mine, it's a little lopsided, so I'm just going to grab a little piece from that side and put it over here. So it's just kind of equal all the way around. The key to a candle, though, is it needs to be able to stand up. So I'm going to take this over to my, here to my little stand. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it directly right on the top of this guy right here, and I'm just going to smoosh down a little bit so it has a nice flat bottom. The next thing with this candle is currently that wick way too long. I just need a little tiny wick on the top of that. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm just going to twist that off. If you have a scissors, you can snip it. The last thing that I need to do is I'm just going to steal a little piece of wax from anywhere on this, ca on this candle and I'm just going to add it right there up to the tip. So I'll have a little red tip on it. Just like that. What that does is when I go to light this on fire, that gives it something to burn because the toilet paper doesn't like burn right away and catch the wax there. This is our candle. So we are ready to fire this bad boy up. Now this is the part where I have to tell you to be safe about using fire because people burn themselves and all that sort of thing. And make sure that you're not lighting candles places where you shouldn't be. Pretty impressive, right? I know, single moms love me. The next question you might be asking, how long will this candle burn for? These candles burn for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes out of that thing. So, for your kid's next birthday, you can, you can save some cash right there. If you wanna make a bigger candle, squash them together. While that candle burns in the background, I am going to show you guys how to make a fancy wick. For this fancy wick, it kind of depends on how thick your toilet paper is. This. Is some, this is some high grade TP right here. This is some, some one wipe kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna need very much of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rip this down again very carefully. If you got scissors, you can cut it up. But all I need is something like this. Now this toilet paper is two ply and that's the key to this right now because the next part is I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this apart into two different chunks here. All right, great. Now that I have it in two separate chunks, I'm gonna set one to the side. And this one right here, I'm just gonna roll up like this and I'm gonna twist it. When I twist it, I'm twisting away from me, away from my body. So I'm gonna do that with the one. I'm gonna come back and grab the other. I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, twisting away from my body, twisting away from me. Doesn't have to be super tight, but tight is good for this, all right? So now I'm left with two pieces of toilet paper. I'm gonna put them together and pinch them here in my left hand. And now what I'm gonna do is I, again, tighten this up. So I take the top one, I tighten it up right here. 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my middle finger and I'm catching the other one as I twist the first. So again, twisting away, middle finger down, twist. That twist right there is what we're looking for. So again, away and twist. Now as I make this, as you can start to see this wick start to form, I'm just gonna move my hand down here to pinch it and that'll keep it from untwisting. So I'm gonna go here again, twisting away and twist. This is just known as a reverse twist. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'll just keep marching my fingers down, keeping them nice and tight. Sweet. Now I have a nice little wick made from toilet paper. So now it looks all fancy. Now at this point, I'm gonna use the same technique as before. I have my smushed up wax. Gonna take the wick, put it right down there in the middle. This time it'll squeeze in there a little bit better for you. Make sure that the twisted end kind of sticks out the top so you get that fancy look to it. Flip it right over the top. Kind of seal up that little edge there. We're gonna rip off the extra. That wax up there at the tip, that'll keep that from unraveling on you. And then we can just smash that onto our flat surface, always on something that will catch the hot wax. And we have another candle that's ready. You can see our first candle, it's going pretty good right now. So I can take this guy, One last little fun fact is when the wax melts at the bottom of this candle, once it cools down, you can save that and use this to make another candle for next time. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a candle. Make sure you blow them out when you're done. We hope you join us next time by hitting that subscribe button and checking out some of our other projects.